Today, Cliffhanger 321 Adventures will do a product review of the BioLite Grill, an add-on accessory for the BioLite Backpacker Stove. Well, the first thing we'll need to do is gather a small pile of wood, like I've already done here. And then we'll need to start the fire. I've already got that started, and I'll do a quick pan around to let you see how the whole grill looks together. I've marinated some cod and placed in this foil that I'm going to fold up into a little envelope and place on the grill. Well, I've created a little package of marinated fish, so we'll kind of look around and uh, see how it looks on the grill. As you can see, the uh, fire here is coming up really hot and swirling through there, and that's from the fan that's part of the blower in the uh, orange module there. So that creates the, uh, the extreme heat from just a small amount of wood. As I pan around, you can see where the fire comes up from the burn chamber and hits the plate that spreads the fire out and radiates the heat up to cook a wide area from the smaller burn area. As you can see from the amber light here on the bio light, we've been cooking on a low flame. So here in a second, I will show you uh, what it looks like when you're cooking under a high flame. As you can see, flames are quite a bit more aggressive. And if you look over here, the green light on the right shows that I've been using the, uh, the fan on the high setting, which then it really starts cooking fast. Well, as you can see from the charring on the aluminum foil and the golden brown of the fish, I think it's ready to eat. All that's left now is to take a taste and sample the, the delicious marinated cod I caught on my deep sea fishing trip last summer. So one important factor when uh, looking at stoves and things like that for backpacking is how long does it take to cool down? As you can see, these are cool to touch and they've only been sitting out on the picnic table for about three to five minutes. So in reality, the time it takes to uh, boil water on this stove, it's already cool enough to pack back up and uh, get moving. Well, I hope you enjoyed my review of the BioLite Grill. I want to thank my friend Gary Jenkins for allowing me to uh, use his grill and encouraging me to create a little video on it. Thank you, Gary.